Hey guys, Jay Yudlowski here. Wanted to share a cool new feature in Photoshop CC that I just learned about. So as a landscape architect, there were many times when I needed to take an image and then put whatever I was proposing in there. A lot of times that included trees. Well, it's a great new feature in Photoshop CC that allows you to put trees right into your image. So let's get started here. We have an image open here in Photoshop CC. And I want to make a new layer. Let's call this tree. And the next thing I'd like to do is come over here and we want to put a tree in this picture. So what we want to do is I'm just going to hit shift delete and I want to fill that layer with a pattern. So I'm going to select pattern and down here you see scripted patterns. You toggle that on and if you look under script there's a bunch of different things here, different options of what you can fill the layer with. In this case I want to choose tree. I'm going to click OK. It's going to bring up this window here. Now this is really cool. It gives you the option of selecting all these different kinds of trees. Um, and then once you select your tree, so in this case I'm going to choose a cherry tree. Once you select your tree, you have options of how it's going to create the tree because Photoshop actually creates a, a rendered 3D tree for you to insert into your image. So here you can change the light direction, which side the light is coming from. And it'll give you a little preview here and down here you can see it shows you where the sun is positioned. So that way you can line it up with your, your image. So we can see under here, there's not too many shadows. It was cloudy this day. So I'll just leave the light over here. You can tilt the camera, um, which will tilt the view towards the tree a little bit. The leaves amount, this is really cool. You drag this slider down here, and it'll reduce the amount of leaves on there. So say it's winter time, and you're trying to fit a tree in there, uh, into your image. You just drag it down to zero. It's got no leaves on it. That's great. Um, and then there's a couple other options down here that you can use too. Um, I'm going to leave arrangement at one and then uh, just click OK. And give it a second here to, to create that tree and render that image. And it'll be here in the new on a new layer right in our drawing for us to adjust and scale as we need to. And then we can position it where we need it. OK, so now that I have my tree rendered and brought in onto the layer that I created, I can now scale it and move it around the image wherever I need to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this guy. I'm going to hit Command T. Command T. And then I'm going to hold Shift while I scale the image so that way it scales proportionally. Scale it way down. I'm going to grab the tree, put it way off here in the background, and maybe scale it down a little bit more. Put it out there in the background. I'm going to hit Enter to accept scale change. And that's it. Just like that, we have a tree in our image and uh, I just think this is a great feature I wish they would have came out with it sooner um, would have helped me out a lot but hey it's here now and uh, it's a great new feature so I wanted to share it and uh, hope you enjoyed this little tip thanks for watching